This video will cover the topic evaluating an expression with a negative exponent whole number base. In our first example, we will use the problem 7 to the power of negative 2. How is evaluating an expression with a negative exponent any different than evaluating with a positive exponent? That's a great question. The main difference between a negative and positive exponent is that we need to make the negative exponent positive before we evaluate the expression. How do we make the negative exponent positive? To make the negative exponent positive, we need to move both the base and exponent to the denominator. For example, in our problem, a to the power negative n, we would move both our base and exponent to the denominator. This results in 1 over a to the power n. If the base and exponent were in the denominator, then we would move it to the numerator. For example, in our problem, 1 over a to the power negative n, we would move both the base and exponent to the numerator. This results in a to the power n. Now knowing these two rules, let's solve this problem. We first move our base and exponent to the denominator to convert the negative exponent into a positive. This results in 1 over 7 to the power of 2. From here we would follow the rules of exponents by erasing 7 to the second power in order to simplify the expression. This results in our final answer of 1 over 49. Now that we have done an example, would you like to try and solve a problem with the base and exponent being in the denominator? Sure, I think I'm ready. Great, your problem is 1 over 3 to the power negative 3. So, from what we learned, the first step is to move both the base and exponent to the numerator in order to make the exponent positive. This results in 3 to the third. From there, we follow the rules of exponents and raise 3 to the third power in order to simplify our expression. This results in our final answer of 27. So in conclusion, in order to make a negative exponent into a positive, we would move both the base and exponent to the denominator. If the base and negative exponent were in the denominator, we would move both the base and exponent to the numerator in order to make it positive. Great job! It seems like you know how to evaluate an expression with a negative exponent with a whole number base.